Hello folks. Today I'd like to talk about this 12 gauge shotgun by American Tactical. It's the model DF-12. Let's get started. Folks, uh, before we get into what all comes with the shotgun, I wanted to give you a little um, feedback on it of what I experienced myself. Um, we got it home, took it down to the shooting range uh, right away out back, and right out of the gate, we started noticing some things that just didn't uh, jive and feel right. One of them being that... Um, once you chambered around and locked it forward, the pump wouldn't, the action wouldn't stay locked. You really had to slam it home and then make sure, kind of give it a little tug before you wanted to fire because this simply wasn't staying closed. That was a red flag. Um, the second thing was, is when you would eject the empty and then go to chamber your next round um, sometimes the rounds would stay uh, in the lower part of the receiver and they wouldn't come up um, so you had to sit and play with it and it was almost like every other shot you would take um, you were having some sort of issue whether it be the action staying locked forward or a round sticking to the bottom um, so what I did is I brought it in uh, broke it down and field stripped it and cleaned it, oiled it, thinking maybe I'll get the cosmoline out of there and put some fresh oil in and maybe get it to start working again. And nope, it, it did not. Um, and so I emailed ATI and they replied right away. That was nice. Um, and then I saw a phone number on their website, so and this was on the weekend, so I had to wait till Monday. Um, but I called there, and I actually I got somebody, and I spoke to the gentleman, and it was almost like right away he knew um, what was going on, and he had said that um, when they assembled these, in some of them they were having problems with the latch uh, being out of cam. And then that was affecting the action, the, the whole trigger assembly basically as a whole because the latch and everything is all attached to everything. So um, he said that was the issue. So they um, had me email them some information and about the shotgun and my information. And then they, ha they sent me an... Um, RA form they paid for the shipping uh, I just had to ship it out and then they stayed in contact with me letting me know um, the updates with what was going on with the shotgun um, I got it back and um, test fired it and no issues so it seems like they knew what was wrong and they took care of it uh, right away what they said what was wrong with it, um, they adjusted the slide lock lever and must have been the thing where it was out of cam or, or whatever. Um, and they shot 10 rounds of ATI 12 gauge two and three quarter target loads. It tested for safety and function and no more failures. Um, and that's the ATI customer service report. Um, it said problem description, action broken, shell latches wrong, failure to cycle, failure to fire, inspect, repair, test shotgun only. So that was their uh, fix for it, and it seemed to work. So once we got it back, we took some footage, and let's go take a look. All right, folks, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this out after we got it back from ATI. We're gonna test it out with some of my reloads, uh, some bird shot and some slugs, and then we got some factory uh, game loads by Remington. So let's test this and see how it does. 
All right, folks, we're going to start out with those Remington game loads. All right, folks, now we're going to try our reloads of bird shot. All right, folks, now we're going to do our reloaded slugs. I like that. All right, folks, let's get back inside to the gun bench and wrap up this video. All right, folks, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little video. Um, but it seems to eat my reloads, um, slugs, birdshot, uh, factory, and whatnot. So I'm pretty happy with this now. Um, before I trust it fully for a home defense or anything like that, uh, obviously I'm going to continue to keep firing it make sure there's no more issues. Um, it's not my go-to uh, home defense, so it's not a huge loss. Um, these are a budget shotgun, so you don't really expect a whole lot, um, but you should expect it to work and be safe. That's, that's the main thing. You want it to be safe. You want to make sure the action stays locked forward, and you want to make sure that the rounds cycle through there. Um, and in which case now, they do, and it does. Um, so let's go over what you get with this um there is a couple impressive things that they do give you with this shotgun so um let's go over that let's go over some of the things that i did to it and uh wrap this video up and we'll be right back all right folks well just to name a few things that comes with this shotgun um you get two different plugs two different lengths um, you don't have to have them in there. If you want to just fully use the capacity in there, just take them out. Um, you get your action stop so you can keep this safe um, in the safe direction. You get a, obviously you get a lock. Um, every gun usually typically comes with a lock. Um, you get a hard case and you get a couple different choke tubes. Um, this one, you get a standard choke tube. This one appears to be modified. Um, it has the three notches in there. Um, so you get that. You get a choke tube wrench. And one of the things that really stood out to me with this was you get this choke tube. Um, this one's pretty nice. It uh, screws right in there. And it really enhances the appearance of the gun. I really like the way that looks. Um, you do get a pit that it comes with a Picatinny rail on the fore end. Um, so what I did, I went on Amazon. We have a couple of these lights for some other um, rifles we have. But I mounted this light to it. Um, and then one thing I did to it to modify it is the front sight um, is it comes black. So you really can't see anything. So what I did is I took some glow paint or fluorescent paint and um, model paint from Hobby Lobby and I with a toothpick and then I just dabbed some in there and then I put some clear um, fingernail polish over it to uh, protect it so it wouldn't wear off. So um, those are the things and then it obviously comes with the manual and instructions. So um, let's wrap this video up. All right, folks. Well, my final thoughts on this shotgun. Uh, after getting it back, after having it fixed, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I know there's a few other videos out there where people had different experiences on it. Um, one was where he sent it in. They found out it had the wrong barrel on it. I'm not sure how they got that. 
um, mixed up, but um, they were willing to fix it for him. He opted for the refund. Um, so is your experience with one um, going to be a bad one? Not necessarily. Um, but the good news is, is that ATI is quick to um, remedy your issue for you. So that's a plus. Um, in our area, it brought around $189. Um, so it wasn't priced that bad. So um, you get a sling mount here, you get a sling mount there. Um, so I'll probably take it out hunting with me a couple times this year and, and see how it does there. So again, this is the DF-12 series by ATI smoothbore universal to birdshot or slugs and um thanks for watching this video please comment please subscribe um please give me a thumbs up we like to make these videos to help you i'm also going to leave a link to our email below so you can actually email me um, with questions that maybe you don't want to put in comments or maybe it's too lengthy to put in the comments um, so you can actually email me. So look for that in the description and I'll try to get your answers to you the best I can and as quick as I can. So thanks for watching folks. God bless. God bless America. And God bless the Republic. Take care.